Ever wonder how the ancient Egyptians built those massive pyramids without modern cranes or machinery? It's a puzzle that has baffled historians for centuries, but one of the most popular theories involves a whole lot of ramps. So let's dive into how they might have pulled off this incredible engineering feat. The Great Pyramid of Giza is made of over 2 million stone blocks, each weighing several tons. Getting them from the quarry to the construction site was one thing, but lifting them hundreds of feet into the air? That's where the ramp theories come in. Researchers have proposed several different types. The most straightforward is a single, long, straight ramp leading up one side of the pyramid. The problem? For a structure as tall as the Great Pyramid, this ramp would have needed to be over a mile long, requiring almost as much material as the pyramid itself. So what are the other options? Another idea is the zigzag ramp, which would switch back and forth up one face of the pyramid. This would be shorter and steeper, but it would have made turning those giant stone blocks at each corner extremely difficult. Then there's the spiral ramp theory, which suggests a ramp corkscrewed around the outside of the pyramid as it grew taller. This seems pretty clever, but it would have covered the pyramid's faces, making it impossible for surveyors to ensure the angles were precise during construction. A variation of this is an internal spiral ramp built within the pyramid itself, which some recent scans have hinted at. Regardless of the shape, these ramps were likely made of mud brick and rubble, reinforced with timber. As the pyramid grew layer by layer, the ramp was built higher and longer to match. But how did they move the heavy stones up these ramps? You might be thinking of log rollers, but that's actually not very effective on sand. Instead, evidence suggests they used large wooden sledges. To make it easier, workers would pour water on the sand right in front of the sledge, which reduced friction and allowed them to haul the massive blocks with ropes. It's estimated that on peak construction days, teams of workers were moving one block into place every few minutes. Imagine the coordination and sheer manpower required. Hundreds of thousands of workers, not slaves as is often depicted, but skilled laborers, dedicated their lives to building these monumental tombs for their pharaohs. Even with all this research, the debate is far from over. Each theory has its strengths and weaknesses, and it's possible the Egyptians used a combination of different methods. What we do know is that their ingenuity and organization were truly ahead of their time, 